Happy January, my dears. We are back in Italy. We are back from Scotland. There is an actual blue sky outside in January and I'm currently nursing a mosquito bite. So all is, uh, normality is restored. <laughs> Today is one of those days where there's a million things on and yet I still feel like I am behind despite having been nothing but almost senselessly productive so far today. <laughs> We've made a cake, as you can see over here, just a very small and simple Victoria sandwich with this lovely jam that we had far too much of and therefore needed to use, as well as using it for a little bit of content. <laughs> today, I would also very much like to clean this place. Um, yeah. <laughs> And a couple of slightly more mentally taxing things rather than just physically would like to record this month's episode of the podcast. We had a little bit of an unintentional break in December because I sort of over or rather underestimated how much I was planning to pack. And so taking my microphone with me over to Scotland just became a little bit unfeasible. The whole recording setup would have been a little bit of a faff. And I would also today like to start applying for a job, or rather continue applying for a job. We need to be honest with ourselves. <laughs> if you are somewhat new to the channel, um, hi, first of all, and thank you for being here. But just to kind of keep you updated on where we are and what on earth is going on. So it's been just over a year since I moved here to the north of Italy. Um, all of the immigration, all of the sadly post-Brexit requirement paperwork, etc., etc. All in all, took just over seven months, seven months to be processed and to go through and everything. And that was like us doing it on easy mode. That was us doing it in a very quiet questura, like the immigration police station here in Italy. And also, you know, doing it not through uh, work or study permit. So that was supposed to be like the, the easy version. And it's getting to a point now where I feel comfortable enough not comfortable full stop, we'll never be there. Comfortable enough with the Italian language and, you know, with just communication and a bit of the culture in general, that it's about time I start earning a living again, instead of just living off my savings as I've been doing up until now. Um, of course, this is always easier said than done, even in your home country, but it's going to be doubly challenging here. I've never worked here, so the work culture will be totally new. All I know is, you know, through friends and family's experience. Um, of course, the language is completely different. And what I'm going to be able to do with my current work experience and capacity for the language and the culture is also somewhat limited, though. So, there's a lot of humble pie to be eaten, <laughs> which has happened almost on a monthly basis since packing up my life anyway so it's no real surprise and no real big change either but we're going to have to start just as i did when i went looking for my first job when i was 16 it's gonna have to start with printing off some cvs which i've written in italian and knocking on some doors now the thought of this alone made me feel nauseously anxious as a teenager and it feels no different 10 years on, 11 years on, um, but we have to do it. We have to suck up, be a big girl and do it. I've already applied for f five different jobs, you know, mostly online based stuff up until this point, but I've had no luck, but as is always the way. Um, and I'm at the point where I want to start, you know, applying for things that are a bit more local and, you know, failing that in the surrounding towns and cities here. Um, ideally in a kitchen, it's been a long time since I've worked in one, we shall see. But the first step is going to get some CVs printed out and starting this very anxiety riddled journey. And I just thought I would take you guys along, if not for the schadenfreude, but for the entertainment. <laughs> for even more kind of context, if you're, if you haven't been a follower of the channel for a while, I studied law, so it was a five year process in university and another couple of years, ah, another couple of years in legal practice. Um, and we're basically swerving completely away from that. I wouldn't be able to use my Scottish law degree in the same capacity here in Italy. It would be the same going from any country to any other country because quite obviously the laws are different. Um, 
and it's also not something I want to particularly pursue at the moment. Half of, you know, changing location was that we both wanted to change our lives a little bit from what we had in Scotland. And there's no better time, really. Um, so that's kind of the motivation behind it, if that, if that makes sense. I'm ready to learn new things. I'm ready to try new things. If anything, to learn what I don't want to do as much as I want to learn what I want to do. And the kitchen seems like a good place to start both for my interests and my minimal capacity at the moment. So let's do it. Okay, we're back and despite um, the stress, despite the nervousness, we accomplished even just one tiny thing today. <laughs> so I went to go and get a few copies of my CV printed out. Um, and obviously not the most ideal timing today because I was doing a million other things and mildly procrastinating first. <laughs> but a lot of the kind of patisseries and pasticceria here are kind of closed not long after lunchtime so there weren't as many open as I was hoping for but I thought instead of going straight home I would pop my head into the one that was open on my way back and it was very pleasant despite being a bit fruitless <laughs> because they're not searching for staff I had a nice conversation and had my CV taken in by the by the owner so that's something it's a start, um, whether there are 10, 15 or 20 or 70 <laughs> more of those interactions to have before I find something, that is absolutely fine. But it's been over like five years, six years maybe, <coughs> six years maybe since I've done like in-person job applications. So um, a little bit nerve wracking, even more nerve wracking here. And there's kind of an extra layer of anxiety around this because the idea of working in like, an Italian pastry shop is so like eat, pray, love that I really don't want to fuck it up because it seems like such a great thing to be able to do, whether it's for a short period or even a trial shift, you know, it's something you can say, it's something you can tell the grandkids, it's something you can say, look, I did that. Might not be very good at it, but... <laughs> <laughs> I uh, also stopped into the butcher to buy something for dinner so it's about time to go and get cooking because as you can see it's already dark I apologize if my nose is still pink from the outside I promise it's not alcohol <laughs> but yeah tiny tiny little accomplishment today if nothing else I got some of these beautiful and utterly enormous <laughs> chicken thighs I'm, I've been doing this a lot lately, like the other day in the supermarket, I, I asked for this loaf of bread that was up on a shelf, looked completely normal in size, and it was enough to feed about 12 people. I've had to freeze like two thirds of it because it was so big. And something similar here, you know, I asked for two of these, one of these would have been fine, absolutely fine. <laughs> but I am planning to roast these with some spices, maybe make a little sauce and have some nice kind of little crispy roast potatoes with it too. Mm -hmm. 